Governor Mark Dayton's premier education initiative for several years has been funding for universal pre-kindergarten. I recently spoke with former education finance chair and current DFL education lead, Senator Chuck Wieger, about this year's efforts to prepare children for kindergarten. In terms of funding for kindergarten readiness programs, it appears that what passed in this education bill is similar to what the DFL Senate proposed two years ago when you were education chair. Are you satisfied with the level of funding in this current budget bill that's going to go towards kindergarten readiness? Uh, we have supported a number of initiatives to increase early education opportunities over the years, but our highest priority now is what the governor has been championing, and that's for pre-K-4. And the governor had recommended $175 million for the pre-K-4. That would have been adequate, and that was provided for in his budget, and that would have made me very satisfied. So the 50 million, one time only, uh, that's it's an improvement, it's helpful, but it didn't get the job done like we should have. Uh, and I wanna say, it's, it's Governor Dayton is just speaking on behalf of uh, parents and teachers and our next generation of students. There is a big demand out there. Uh, when we passed the bill last year, uh, right away districts started applying. And in fact, the majority of districts that applied within weeks, they were told, sorry, we had to stop because there's not enough funds available. There is demand for high quality pre-K-4. And these were districts throughout Minnesota and uh, rural areas especially were being told that we just don't have enough funds right now, but maybe next year. Governor Dayton, through the pre-K-4 initiative that he had in his proposal, would have done that. And eventually we will get there, just like eventually we got the full day kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Some of the same arguments that uh, opponents of pre-K-4 uh, have had that uh, there's not uh, enough resources or the schools don't want it, the facilities. School districts want this. What are some provisions in this bill that you are happy with? Uh, the two and two, uh, the formula, 2% each year. Yep. Uh, that was the governor's proposal. Um, it, it took quite a while to get to that level. There was some negotiating and, back and forth, right. yes. And so I was pleased that would be the number one, uh, because, and that's the bulk of the bill. And then, as I mentioned, uh, getting you know, some money, even though it was only one time for the early uh, education, uh, pleased with that. And, and what more needs to be done? Uh, we need to continue to evaluate the overall goal, world's best workforce, our graduation rate, and then how do we get there? And it all gets back to early education. And so we, we will be doing additional uh, review. There's going to be a legislative auditor uh, uh, review of uh, programs in this area. And I'm sure. And pre-kindergarten uh, readiness? Yes. OK. Yeah, you know, just the whole you know, delivery system. There's a big overlap, too, uh, our, you know, with uh, health and human services. In fact, we had some bipartisan meetings, uh, Senator Ralph and uh, Icorn and uh, um, you know, just you know, Senator Hoffman was involved, mm -hmm. Senator Abler, and uh, you know, a number of us were going to meetings as to the amount of money that goes into health and human services for daycare, where they are providing services too in, in high quality programs that will get you ready for school. And, and, and so, you know, what can we do to maybe streamline the process or get the most efficient use of resources. We found that there was not ideal amount of communication going on with providers in these various areas. Uh, the biggest part of our budget is for E12 mm -hmm. right now. The fastest growing budget is for health and human services and at some point, maybe 2020, uh, you know, it would uh, overtake uh, the, the E12 budget, uh, just on trends and mm -hmm. healthcare costs. There's a lot of unknowns. Mm -hmm. And so we need to be as efficient as we can. Mm -hmm.